Good morning from Mexico. It's gonna be a good afternoon from Guatemala. Good morning from Mexico, soon to be good afternoon from Guatemala. We are overlanding to our fourth country today. We are saying goodbye to our three months in Mexico and going to a new country where we'll be learning more about a new culture and seeing new places. We're super, super excited. excited. Border ready, as is Bella. <laughs> Good afternoon from Guatemala. Woo! We made it. The border crossing was a little bit of a runaround, but it always it usually is. We got all our walks in, that's yeah, for sure. Exactly. We took the El Cibol border crossing from Mexico to Guatemala. It was actually fairly quiet and it was more sheep or pigs than people. Yeah, very uneventful. The dogs actually took the longest. Um, they were also 108, how do you say their currency? Kate Sales. Kate Sales each, which is like 12 Canadian dollars. Um, then they did like an inspection on them. Well, we did the inspection on them. They were too scared to touch them. And the vehicle, 160 kids at least. Yep. Um, Which is what, $30? $30, yep, $30. And then all I would say is that you need photocopies of everything. Your passport, your driver's license, the dog passport you have for them. Yeah, it's always good to be prepared and have lots of photocopies. So we picked ourselves up a new phone plan. We now have a Guatemalan number, which is really exciting. And now we're off to explore Guatemala. So we're gonna spend the rest of the afternoon into the evening driving to a camp spot. Um, we'll see them all tomorrow, Ty. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably catch you tomorrow and show, show you where we stay tonight. Our first night in Guatemala. Yep. Good afternoon. We are actually just outside the town of Chusek. It's pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And to get here, our drive was quite interesting. All of a sudden, the road ended. We were on a ferry. Pigs, horses, cows, you name it. They were the other cars. Whoa, there's a bunch of sheep running and Izzy's doing her herding job. I don't know if you can see it. So I'll give you a tour. There's our home parked in our spacious backyard. If you walk in here, you have the bathrooms. I really like the walkway that they've created to enter. And the toilet. It even has a flusher. What do you think, Izzy? It's pretty nice, eh? Wanna lead us back home? Okay. And the best part of all is we have our own swing that swings out onto this glorious cold water that is amazing. Exactly how I imagine Guatemala. Right? Clouds yeah. in the sky, jungle. Brown just, rivers. Yeah, it just seems so dense and jungle-like. I love it.
time to explore the caves. We gotta swim. Just hang on to the wall. Oh god, I'm freaking now. <laughs> Let's go through. Ooh, it's spooky. I'm spooked. Take a look at the rock formation here. So cool. Guess what, everyone? I have a geology joke that rocks. <laughs> What'd you make us? Making up some homemade kettle corn. It's actually so easy. You just put the kernels in a pot with coconut oil. And then when it's just about to pop, I just put a little bit of honey in and it's sweet like kettle corn. Add Ooh. a little bit of salt. Everybody likes that sweet and salty, right? We honestly just take it pretty easy when we're at camp spots like this. You have no service. So it's a good time to just disconnect from everything. And our days just usually involve eating. Eating. Oh man, eating. <laughs> Swimming, playing with the dogs. This is the perfect introduction to Guatemala. It really is. It's a beautiful camp. Like I said, we don't have any service here, so we're gonna also disconnect from the camera. We think it's important to do that. Especially <laughs> as overlanders, crossing a border can sometimes be tedious. It can take your energy, yeah. and so I think we're just gonna kind of relax. Do nothing, let's be real. <laughs> we'll probably be in the same position all day. Yeah. Might well, lay horizontal a couple times. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna hang out in our van down by the river. So we'll catch up with all of you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> She'll never get that. Tomorrow. You're too delicate. We just stopped to fill up our water jugs and as I'm pulling the last one out, look what I found. <gasps> the roads in Guatemala definitely are worse than the Mexican roads by far, I have to say already. We've made it to the coffee plantation so we can get coffee straight from the source. <laughs> Which feels really good. Yeah, it's and really incredible. It's grown right here. And, and it guess what? Good. <laughs> we have our many tour guides, <laughs> <laughs> and they're so helpful, teaching us everything. Es la flor nacional. Ah, es la flor nacional. And they're saying it's the national flower. Oh, Guatemala. <laughs> Wow! That's this. We have a third pack member. <laughs> For me? Gracias. Muchas gracias.
gustó? No. Gracias. Gracias. Beautiful. Gracias. Muchas gracias. A veces. <laughs> Ciao. Gracias. Our experience at the coffee farm getting fresh coffee was awesome. The coffee looks and smells delicious. But what made it so great were, was all of the very inquisitive, cute little kids that were asking us tons of questions and becoming our friends. So if you're heading to Guatemala and you're in the Cobain area, make sure you check out that coffee plantation. They do tours as well. However, they were a little bit more expensive for our type of travel, 21 Canadian, but we got some coffee and we got a tour by the kids. Shop, so we're gonna get a van wife sticker and we're gonna get the YouTube and the Instagram symbol. I'm really excited! <laughs> That's sweet. Oh my god, I love it. It's so nice. That's so nice. Simple. I love it. They did a good job. I know. It's wow. beautiful. I love that. I'm obsessed. Me too. Oh, we're here. We're also making stickers. Woohoo! Yay! <gasps> my headband! Oh my god, I caught it! <laughs> still and we're kind of conflicted about what we will do and we are taking it day by day as we don't know what tomorrow brings we also have no control over it really so if we're doing everything in our control we are staying healthy yeah keeping we, our immune systems high eating lots of good food isolating ourselves and that's really all we can do yeah as of right now where we are in guatemala, guatemala. the president has announced that the borders are closed in and out of the country and that there has been six cases so far that is a low number in comparison to the numbers internationally so at this point we feel safe here and safe in our home as well as guatemalans have been very very kind very kind like we are so grateful someone has actually messaged us that we can stay on their family's property which is isolated which would be very good while things Sorry for Izzy right now. <laughs> While things are happening the way, way they are, the only thing that we fear is that by staying here, if something were to happen to our families and we couldn't fly home, that would be tough. Yeah, so right now is a really tough time to travel. We are doing our research and taking all the precautions that we can, and we are lightly making way. Moves? Lightly making moves mm -hmm. and trying to figure out what's next. Exactly. We may see you in Guatemala next week. We may see you in Canada next week. We really don't know. And I think that's the hardest part about this all is that no one knows how long it's going to last. If we were for sure it's going to last two, three weeks, we'd say okay. But it, it could last months. It could last three months. It could last longer. And I think that's kind of where, why we're conflicted of what to do. Yeah. The uncertainty is very difficult. So for the next weeks to come, we don't exactly know. However, we were thinking... Q&A type videos as we've got a lot of requests on those as well as Guatemala has actually shut down all tourist attractions so we 
can't do anything. Mostly everything in the country is shut down, so we're pretty much confined to our home where we would want to be anyways. Exactly. Um, so yeah, Q&As, if you have any questions about the dogs, about us, about the van, anything, travel. We're open to answering almost everything. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. So Q&As. Um, yeah, we'll see what we dip into over the next few weeks. Yeah, so write them in the comments. Also on our Instagram page, we'll probably be doing, I'll put a picture up or something. What? And then people can write comments of what questions they have. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, comment on the bottom of this YouTube video. Follow us on Instagram and let us know what your questions are. Also, you'll be able to see us there. We'll be keeping updated there as well. And this is a good way for us all to get to know each other a little bit better. So I think it's gonna, it's a good opportunity we're looking on the positive things. Bella also wanted to say thank you for all the birthday wishes. She loved reading the comments. Her paws got a little tired after typing back, but she got <laughs> back to almost everyone, I think. She, yeah. She's still got a few more, eh? The dogs are doing really good, and they're keeping our spirits high. They really are. They honestly are the glue to our family. They are. They're just, look at her. <laughs> I love her. Can't help but smile when you look at that face. <laughs> So we hope that you're doing well and that you are with your loved ones. Thank you to everyone that has reached out to us, messaged us, and like Crystal said, we are sending our thoughts and our prayers to all of your friends, family, and loved ones. Yes, we are sending love your way. Stay healthy and keep your immune system high. Exactly. And remember to take care of one another because that's what's going to get us all through this. We'll see you next week. See you next Sunday. Ciao. Ciao.